Did someone ask for an 18-year-old Belgian wonder kid? No? Well, we got one for you anyway. Romeo Lavia is a DM right now, 18 years old, Belgian, contracted to Southampton, 28 to 85 million at 18 years old. Uh, but like I said, DM, kind of central midfield. Actually, he's got some good versatility in there uh, with some side action on the right and then some attacking mids. So not too bad. Numbers wise, passing a 15, tackling technique of 14 for a DM is fantastic. Uh, first touch of 14. He's got great determination, teamwork, and work rate. So he definitely has some very good numbers here to, to build off of. And we'll see what happens in 10 plus years. But right now, he I mean, he also has a great biography. Uh, it's filled out to a degree. He started out in Anderlecht, moved to Manchester City in, 20, in the 2020 season, and then moved to Southampton in the 2022 season for $10.5 million. So hasn't made a single debut for anyone. But as you can see, he's got a couple of milestones to his name. Premier League 2 Division 1 winners, uh, under 18 Premier League North winners, Premier League winners, Premier League 2, blah, blah, blah. So he's got some stuff. Made a senior club debut for Manchester City against Lincoln City. But unfortunately, that's not listed here. Everything's at zeros. So we are going to go straight to 10 years from now and see how he is. Well, not too surprising. Lavia has found his way to Manchester United. Rated now at 106 to 317 million. 275k per week until 2035 and is a regular starter. He only made 35 appearances in two seasons for Southampton and then just quickly just moved off to Manchester United. 341 appearances though, 12 goals. So, uh, but you can see, I guess, apparently he's played striker once or twice, but everything is still pretty much situated in the DM and, and, and midfield roles. Uh, but passing of 16, tackling technique of 15 have all grown. First touch of 15 is fantastic. His mentals are through the roof. For the most part, composure and bravery, not the most, but physically, wow. Pacey as can be, agile as can be, fitness is great. Uh, so yeah, he looks really fantastic. Unfortunately, probably not the cheapest Wonder Kid pickup that you'll find in FM23. Maybe you can pick him up cheap from Southampton at the very beginning. I don't know. But career stats wise, actually 34 and a half million to Manchester United is not a bad number. Uh, and as you can see, it went from Anderlecht to Man City on a free, then Southampton from 10 and a half, raised to 13 and a half, and then Manchester United 34 and a half. Uh, and he's, I mean, he's gotten nothing above seven since Southampton, three appearances in the championship. Wow. But everything floating just under seven and then boosted up to seven in the 2028-9 season. Uh, so doing fairly well afterwards. To be honest, I mean, 684, 677 are not bad average ratings for at 2024. He's what, 20 years old. So he still has some room to grow. Uh, he's still very young in a big club with Manchester United. So, and playing regularly, he's, I mean, he's doing very well. I think you can see with Manchester United, he did pick up a lot of new trophies. FA Cup winners, Premier League championships, FA Community Shield winners, FA Cup winners again, Carabao Cup, uh, UEFA Europa League winners. I did take a look. He's got like 114 caps, 113 caps. So he has definitely been a mainstay uh, in the Belgian national squad for quite a while. So and actually, if we go back to milestones, you can see in 2027, he made his first international goal. Where's his first international cap though? Right there. 2022 at age 18 against Poland. So... Definitely a mainstay from there on out and has a lot of trophies in the books. Now he does have an individual trophy to his name, named Belgian best player abroad on three occasions and UEFA Europa League player of the season runner up. So he's got a couple things that's personal in his own trophy cabinet, along with all those shields and trophies and everything else that are team based. So now the big thing though, injuries, not bad at all. I mean, he's got a bunch of moderates. I will give you that, uh, but a, couple of slights, only a couple of minors, nothing major, which is fantastic to see. But I mean, 2032 was not a great season with two, four, six weeks out. Um, 2031, another two weeks. So he's probably going to get you some injuries, but it don't look like they're too bad and only out for a couple of games apiece, uh, which is nice to see. I mean, everyone's going to pick up injuries here and there, but not too injury prone whatsoever. So overall, a fantastic career so far. Premier League, 33 appearances this past season, five assists, 701 average rating. Okay, not too bad. I mean, 29. Uh, from what he's been playing, I would have probably hoped that would have been up a little bit. But Champions League, 8 plus 2, 1 assist, 681, not the greatest. 
but he is going to retire at some point. Let's just find out when. The year is 2040. It is the 10th of June right now. He is 36 years old, made 120 caps, so not too bad. Definitely retired just a little while ago from international space. Uh, but 1.4, 4.2 million contracted to Brentford as an important player, 59K, so he's still doing fairly well there. But as you can see, he plans to retire at the end of this season in 2040. He did pick up a DC role or a center back role. So a little bit more versatile, <laughs> versatile now. But overall, definitely dropped from Manchester United. 536 appearances, 13 goals in, what is that, 16 season with the club. Absolutely a fantastic servant. Uh, but then did move to Brentford in the 2039 to 40 season, 30 appearances. So pretty much played a lot of games this season as a 36 year old, but is calling it quits, hanging up his boots at the end. Premier League 11 starts, 19 appear, uh, 19 off the bench, 683 average rating, still not too bad. But as you can see, mentals are still very good, technical, still pretty good. Uh, physical, as you would expect, just plummeting sadly from what was it 16 acceleration down nine and 16 pace down to 10 so definitely time to move on time to retire and he still racked up some trophies premier league champions again fa community shield carabao cup uefa europa conference league winners oh wow they dropped the ball pretty quickly in 2038 but signed by brentford on a free release from manchester united relegated from the premier league sadly in his final season uh but seasonal best 11s all over the place uh, 2036 Belgian best player abroad third place so he's got a lot of those trophies or at least runners up to those trophies but uh oh he did win in 2034 Belgian best player abroad there you go it took him a while but still he got it I uh, got a couple times but he's got a trophy cabinet that is just stock full of anything you could possibly imagine Champions League though not so much though did they nope no Champions League whatsoever so Manchester United still never, not winning the Champions League Conference League though they got yeah, he picked it up a bunch more uh, in injury-wise. He got his first major there, a bunch more moderates. So obviously at some point you're going to start breaking down. Your body's going to start breaking down as you get older. Um, and all the games they play is just going to do a just a number on your body. So this is just what's happening. He's, he's definitely falling apart. Uh, definitely time to call it quits. But overall, I mean, even at Brentford, 6-8-3, relegated, but still doing fairly well for that team. But I mean, he he looks pretty good throughout his entire career. So I definitely would highly suggest scouting the boy and seeing what he does in your save. But that is it for the career of Romeo Lavia from Southampton to Manchester United, all the way to Brentford to retirement. But I am Safian FM for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Mm -hmm.